Hello viewers, today we're going to be setting up the new video editing computer. This is a 27 inches iMac computer from the 2017. It has 24 gigabytes of memory and then whatever, I forget what the other specifications are, we could take a look later. First thing we've got to do is reinstall the operating system. I put the Mojave onto this hard drive and we're going to install that. This would have probably would have shipped with the version before Mojave so I believe that came out in 2018 and it could certainly install the newer operating system whatever the version is I, I don't even know nor do I really care I doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to use the Mojave just because that's what I had on the other one and it's I know all the software works on there. I don't know what the switchover point was when they got rid of the 32-bit programs. I do have that other video editor that I use on occasion. I suspect that probably is 64-bit. But I don't know. I just don't want to deal with the hassle to do something that doesn't matter to me. Okay, so we have everything connected here. And we're going to power this up and we got a hold option which I believe is Alt on a, a Windows keyboard. And this should give us the boot options. Okay, so we'll go over to the Mojave. And I put this onto a onto an external hard drive rather than a flash drive because it installs much much faster. I got a new keyboard. I don't remember where this came from. I know I had one that came with the original iMac I had back in 2008. And then I think my grandfather bought another one of these keyboards for whatever reason. And then maybe I bought one at some point. I have several of these and I just don't, I don't remember where they came from. But I think I'm going to put this into place along with the corded mouse. I have the cordless keyboard and mouse at the current setup that's breaking. And... Yeah, the the cordless has a, its conveniences, but sometimes it just doesn't work, and and the wired peripherals would alleviate that problem. And I'm trying to make this setup as frustration free and foolproof as possible because I want to try to learn more editing. And before it was like the computer was having so many problems. It was kind of just like put the video on there and get it enough to upload it and then be done with it. But if the computer isn't breaking, then maybe you wouldn't be so agitating to try to do more editing. And not not editing like cutting the video every five seconds so that there's never a pause or misspeak in what I'm saying. or Or editing to you know, take out the raw feel of the videos, but always stuff like adding two cameras or three cameras. I want to learn how to do like a picture and picture thing and yeah, you know, just a basic advanced stuff, I guess you could say. Will I ever do that? <laughs> Probably not, but I, I kind of want to learn it. The other computer couldn't run the uh, Adobe software. I'm not sure I really want to pay for that, but uh, we'll see. So we're going to go into the disk utility here. I'll bring this camera a little bit closer. And we're going to go into the disk utility. And we're going to Go under view and do show all devices. And we have a Fusions drive, which is a terabyte. So this should alleviate the issue of it filling up. 
because the other one was always filling up all the time. And we're going to erase this. I don't know if it should be Aphipus or Extended. I usually use Extended. You know, the other thing that's interesting about this, this computer, is that this is a 5K screen, so I'm going to watch, and I'll probably record this on video, I'm going to watch a 4K video for the first time where I can actually see all of the pixels in the video. Because I've watched the 4K videos, of course, on the other computer, but the screen doesn't have, it's only got 1080 pixels, so it wouldn't, uh, yeah, it wouldn't show up, uh, well, it wouldn't show the video would show up, but it wouldn't be any clearer than a regular 1080p video. Uh, why is there so many of them now? Why is that 28, and this is... So this is the SSD, I guess the operating system should go in there. No, this is confusing. Why is there 663 megabytes used already? Alright, let's see what, what appears under the installer. I oh, hope I didn't just screw it up. Okay. I don't, from what I understand, the Fusion's drive has a, a typical traditional rotating platter, and then it also has some flash memory. And I believe it, the, the, the drive, some logic in the drive, will determine which bits reside on the rotating platter in which bits reside on the flash memory. I would expect it to install the operating system on the flash memory, but I don't really know how that works for certain. I don't feel anything getting hot yet. I don't know if this needs to be cleaned or, or what. I don't even know how you would go about cleaning the radiator in there and you know get the dust out. There's there's holes on the bottom and then there's a, a, a fan in the middle. They used to draft the air out the top, but I don't I don't feel any uh vents up there anymore, so I don't know I don't know how this works anymore. I don't usually really mess with modern stuff. This is kind of unusual for me. I guess it's good in a way though because this should be this should be good for quite a few years of video editing. This has plenty of power to it. Well this is riveting. I guess I'll pause the video and let it go through this and I'll pick back up on here when it's done. Okay, the install has finished up. It looks like we're ready to go now. Uh, we'll do that later. Skip.
They don't need no data. They capture enough as it is. They're probably still collecting it anyways. We only hear on here she's an idiot. Okay, let's eject this. And that's it, we're ready to go. So, when we bring up the, uh, I'll bring up that window with its specifications and I'll show that before we close out the video. It's uh, 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i5s with 24 gigabytes of memory and a Radeon Pro 570, four gigabytes. And this is a 5K screen, so it'll be interesting to look at a 4K video for the first time, really being able to see the full quality of this camera. I'm going to have to put this in place tonight. I wasn't going to, but then the other computer, it kind of took a dive this afternoon. I had recorded a video or a couple of videos today, and I was trying to edit those videos. And then it just screwed up and like iMovie kind of became one with activity monitor. And then the timeline turned green and and that was it. There was just no recovering from that. So I was editing on this computer instead. This one over here. But this one is just slow. It takes a long time. Let's see how far we're at here. So it's been going at this for like an hour now. It says it's 15 minutes left. That was only for a 20 minute video. The other video was an hour and 10 minutes. That's gonna be like five or six hours. So this will work, it'll get the job done, but it just takes a long time. And then the problem now is like, I wanna upload one of these videos tomorrow and I'm not gonna be able to because by the time it saves and it uploads, it's not going to be ready for tomorrow morning. Because it probably, I'm going to go to sleep before it finishes exporting. And then i got to allocate a couple hours for it to upload. And then the 4K videos take a long time to process. Seems like it's two or three days to process. So, anyways, this should solve the problem. This should save the videos much faster than even the computer upstairs does and hopefully this one is strong enough to in fact play the 4k video in iMovie properly because even the other computer upstairs it doesn't like the 4k video it doesn't play correctly it's all jittery or whatever it plays at like a frame a second it's terrible but it's you know whatever it worked through this purpose so this is as far as I'm going to set this up on video. I'll put this in place and set it up maybe tonight and then I'll do another video on this after a couple of weeks of using it.